How to stop snoring. There's nothing like a good night's sleep lying next to the one you love. Unless, of course, the one you love snores like a foghorn. In which case, you're probably feeling a bit tired and irritable right now. Don't worry, Video Joke have teamed up with the British Sleep Council to offer you some advice on how to stop yourself, or a loved one, from snoring. First of all, though, you need to figure out the cause of your snoring. Step 1. Apnea. Snoring is different to sleep apnea. If you stop breathing for up to 10 seconds at a time, followed by a sharp intake of breath, and feel tired and sleepy in the daytime, you may have sleep apnea. This is caused by an obstruction blocking the back of your throat so that the air cannot reach your lungs. You should see your GP about this. Step 2. Change your lifestyle. Many people find their snoring is linked to their lifestyle. If you are overweight, that could be a cause of your snoring. Think back to a time when you didn't snore and dig out some old pictures. Have you gained weight since then? Try eating healthily and doing regular exercise to get back to your optimum weight. Even if you're not overweight, you should think about what you eat and drink. Rich foods like cakes and chocolate can contribute to your snoring, and so can alcoholic drinks. Try to cut these out of your diet, at least in the hours before you go to bed. If you're a smoker, try to avoid smoking within four hours of going to bed. If that helps, you'll need to quit for good to get the full effects. Step 3. Change your sleeping position. Now you're ready to try again. If your partner is really irritated by your snoring, encourage them to slip a pillow under your head when it gets too loud. This will give them some relief, but won't totally solve the problem. Step 4. Nose test. If none of those tips worked, there may be a physical reason why you are snoring. Try these tests. Looking in a mirror, press the side of one nostril close to it. With your mouth closed, breathe in through the other nostril. If the nostril tends to collapse, try propping it open with the clean end of a matchstick. If breathing is easier with the nostril popped open, nasal dilators may solve your snoring problem. Step 5. Mouth test. Open your mouth and make a snoring noise. Now close your mouth and try to make the same noise. If you can only snore with your mouth open, then you are a mouth breather. Chin-up strips or a Somni snore guard will help to keep your mouth closed and encourage you to breathe correctly through the nose. Step 6. Tongue test. Stick your tongue out as far as it will go and grip it between your teeth. Now try and make a snoring noise. If the snoring noise is reduced with your tongue in this forward position, then you are probably what is known as a tongue-based snorer. The most appropriate control for tongue-based snoring is a mandibular advancement device, which is similar to a mouth guard you may feel you need to use more than one snoring aid. You've now tried all the tricks to get rid of your problem, and you and your partner should be sleeping throughout the night. Congratulations! Hello? Are you awake? I said congratulations! Oh, sorry.